Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you like this type of content, consider hitting that subscribe button and giving this video a like. I'm almost to 400 subscribers, you guys. I came to see House of Gucci, which was actually one of my anticipated movies of, of the year. This is the true story of Gucci or like Maurizio, one of the family members of Gucci, which was actually originally a family business. And then funny to say that now it's no family is involved within it. We had the great fantastic cast with um, Adam Driver, uh, Lady Gaga. We have, oh shit. <laughs> I see, I blanked out. Yeah, I blanked out on their day. Jared Leto, which was like really unrecognizable. Salma Hayek has a small part. And then, um, shit, what the fuck is his name? I can't believe it. Al Pacino? Yes. Al Pacino. <laughs> Fucking Al Pacino, man. <laughs> I'm like, hold on. You're, you're forgetting a major That's name. That's who I keep trying to say <laughs> that he was name would not come to me. Fuck. Um, anywho, you guys. Well, uh, throw some water on you. <laughs> I know, I'm so sleepy, you guys. So this is a very long movie. It is directed by Ridley Scott. Now, I'm not like a huge, huge Ridley Scott fan, but I do enjoy some of his movies. And, oh, I thought somebody was knocking at us. Let me make sure this door is a lot so much good. Try to come out here and grab us. What did you think about it? I really enjoyed it. I <clears throat> I love the cast. It was it was nice to hear the story. I don't know. <laughs> I, she already I, said that she wasn't had, she wasn't gonna talk. So I enjoyed it too. Uh, yeah, it's it's long, but it's it's informative. I don't know name brands. I don't. Uh, I mean, of course, I know Gucci and some of the other brands they mentioned, they mentioned. mentioned. She didn't know who Tom Ford was, you guys. Oh, She's sorry. all like, "Who's Tom Ford? Who's that? Who's that Texan?" And we see a very young Tom Ford. I wear. I don't wear Tom Ford either, but I know Tom Ford talking about he's not big, right? I'm like, it's Tom Ford. Yes, he's big. I just went to the website, like a dress was like twenty five thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Tom Ford is like up, up there. I do not know brands. They had a conversion of Johnny here. I thought it was fun. Mm -hmm. And then I have something to like mention between Johnny and Versace here. Uh not Versace. <laughs> Gucci here in a bit. I enjoyed it. Uh, of course. Love the cast. Love the cast. A lot of my favorites. And everybody did a really great job. Mm. I mean, it was it was awesome. I love how Lady Gaga is doing her acting. I mean, she's mm. really killing it. I just wish they would have mentioned uh, something of what happened to the daughter. Mm, yeah. I mean, of course, it really wasn't based around her yeah. life story, but at least mentioned something about her. Well, what became of her, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. I didn't really love it. I really went in there with high expectations on the movie. Like I said, it was one of my anticipated. <laughs> it was one of my anticipated movies of the year. And I know I always say, don't go in with high expectations. Um, uh, my major issue with it was definitely the pacing of the story. I mean, there's just a lot of fluff going on there. Uh, we have great character development within the story as well, which I, well, that's a, a positive. As far as Oscar wise talk goes, uh, costume, like, well, not costume, maybe costume, but like makeup and hair definitely will get a nomination i feel like um lady gaga maybe i was kind of gonna before i saw it i was thinking that the movie was gonna be an oscar contender but now i'm not too sure about it to be honest with you performances were really great some of a little some of them are a little over the more over the top sorry again with my words more over the top so i'm like in this case would be jared leto um i'm really wondering how close to the actual person that he was playing if that really was his character or did he just really like way over it was really interesting to see the story now um as far as my earlier note about um versace and gucci uh, apparently there's a little thing going about murdering these designers even though gucci well Maurizio technically really wasn't a designer it was just his name he just inherited the legacy of gucci but he wasn't really actually the the actual designer um in this case he brought on tom ford to do the designing part of it but the mere fact that him and versace both were murdered basically outside of their home I really was thinking it was gonna get more like oscar stuff going for it but like now i really don't 
I really don't see it. They had some really weird cuts as well. That there was one very strange one. I was really expecting to love this and having this like high up on like maybe like my top 10 of the year. Cause like I said, it was one of my top 10. Well, not, oh well, yeah, one of my top anticipated films of the year. And it really, it really let me down, you guys. I guess that's gonna be all I'm gonna say because I, I don't wanna, um, it's late, you guys, and I'm very, very sleepy. Like I said, it's a very, really long movie. So before we give you our scores, of course, don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. And what are you guys ranking it? And I ain't gonna be kind of surprised considering I said I liked it, but I rank it as well. Cause I, I liked it. Uh -huh. It's just kind of too long. Yeah, and you? I liked it too, but it is not what I expected of the story. Well, of course, it's, it's the story of how he got murdered mm -hmm. and stuff. It was okay. I give it. A small, a small. Like I said, pacing of the movie was just not really great. Um, the the time jumps also like sometimes I was confused. I'm like, oh shit, we're there now, and and it was it was yeah, it was yeah. Like, okay, what? Yeah, and they don't give you like oh like a year later, five years later. Literally, it's just like you just Jumps. yeah, yeah. you just jump and like they're just fucking aged. Yeah, I agree. I am also gonna give it a small pop. Of course, I wasn't really that surprised. I mean, well, I am a little bit more. I guess I am surprised that you gave it a small. Cause I really was thinking you were gonna give it a medium, but like I was already gonna give it a small. Mm -hmm. If you've seen the house of Gucci, let me know down below. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Is it something you're planning on checking out? Is it something you're planning on skipping? I personally say say skip. It. I don't think it's worth your theater money unless you're like a diehard like Gucci fan whatever but this is about like the family the start of it uh, we don't even see like like the very beginning mm -hmm. of it like they're already like a successful brand and I kind of would have liked to have seen it where like it first started off some of the development yeah of the that's what I like about a lot of the other movies as far as like brand names go like we actually see their struggles and their upbringing towards it and like, like we saw that with the Versace one, yeah right? with Versace Hostin did you see that Netflix show yeah it. Hostin we also that's a really good uh series and um you also see the up you know them coming up to who they are and you know you know what their brand is now um, and like I said, Maurizio wasn't even a designer, so it's like, oh, whatever. All right, guys, that is it from us tonight. Till next time, see you guys at concessions. Bye.